at least 10 failures, at least 10 people that did not graduate, I need at least 14. So you just take the, 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 the larger of the two, so 37, 14, I'm going to go with 37. 37 would satisfy both. So in this case, we needed a sample size of 37 for the sampling distribution to look normal. I think when we tried it in, our, in stat key, we tried a sample size of 100, and it was way normal. So notice that's, that was over 37. So don't think that the 10 successes and 10 failures requirement means you need a sample size of 20. That's not the case. Um, usually, again, you might need a sample size quite a bit bigger. All right? So this was the central limit theorem. When is our sampling distribution normal? And specifically for sample means and for sample proportions. And we'll see that these are tied to a lot of the assumptions later we'll use in the class for some of the more advanced formulas. All right? So I hope this was helpful for you. This is Matt Tichot and Intro Stats. And uh, I will see you next time.